so hello aspirants welcome you all to sail to mds dental academy so aspirants we are with the part 5 of hpsc past paper discussion with important concept if you have not watched the remaining part you can watch by the link in the description box or by clicking on i button above and if anybody want to join test series they can dm me on the number given below so let's start with the today's video so a reverse three-fourth crown is most frequently fabricated for wish tooth. Remember, aspirant, it is fabricated mostly for mandibular molar. A mandibular molar with intact lingual surface and with severe lingual inclination. In such cases, you can go for reverse three-fourth crown, where the lingual surface is not covered with your fabricated crown. Then a strain hardening or work hardening are best described by which statement? That's a hardening of a metal at room temperature remember work hardening strain hardening is what it's a strengthening of a metal or a polymer by plastic deformation then Burkitt lymphoma is associated with which virus it is associated with Epstein Barr virus remember Burkitt lymphoma is defined by W as an aggressive B cell neoplasm often present at extra nodal site it is characterized by high degree of proliferation of malignant cells and if you go for the chromosomal study, you can see the chromosomal translocation and mostly it is related to EB that is Epstein-Barr virus, which is the most common neoplasm seen in AIDS that is Kaposi sarcoma. Remember when the AIDS was first diagnosed, it was the Kaposi sarcoma case in which it was diagnosed first. Okay, and it's the most common neoplasm seen with AIDS. Then the primary factor that initiates your MPD is, that is myofascial pain dysfunction syndrome that is your muscle spasm. Remember your MPDS is the most common diagnosis that causing chronic pain and often it is wrongly interpreted with your tooth pain. It is a complex symptomatology, concomitant disorder and frequent behavioral and psychological contributing factors that make the disorder difficult to recognize. Now we are going to divide it by node. So what is myofascial? It is a, related to your muscular and connective tissue. Then there is a pain. The pain is of unpleasant, sensational and emotional experience. Then there is a dysfunction means what the normal function is not continued. Fine experience. So that's your MPDS. Then which of these lesions are typically within soft tissue and may mimic inflammatory lesion of odontogenic origin that is your nasolabial cyst. They are rare non-odontogenic soft tissue lesion of nasal vestibule, fossa of canine and sublabial region. So what happens in the nasolabial cyst? There is a painless swelling in the sublabial fold or in the leaf face and it may cause a nose obstruction. The pain occurs in this cyst only when it is infected the incidence is varied as about 0.7 percent and the initial diagnosis and treatment is usually made in the early stage because the lesion causes cosmetic problem and very rarely it becomes very large in dimension then experiment we will see what is the difference between cretinism and hypothyroidism in cretinism there is a congenital disease because of absence or deficiency of your normal thyroid secretion characterized by physical deformity, dwarfism and mental retardation and often goiter. Where hypothyroidism is an acquired disease caused by any of your thyroid or hypothalamus pituitary excess abnormalities. Then the sum of the mesodistal width of the primary molars in any one quadrant is 2 to 5 mm greater than the permanent teeth that succeed them that is premolars. Which of the following is not the principal characteristic of AD HD that is attention deficit hyperactive disorder that is your mental retardation. It is not necessary that a child who is suffering from ADHD having the mental retardation. Fine, it is a disorder that appears early childhood, is a problem of not being able to focus, being overactive and not being able to control behavior or a combination of this. Kids with ADHD act without thinking and are hyperactive. Now, complex spot, they are associated with what? It is associated with measles, which is known as rubiola. Remember, experience German measles is rubella and smallpox is variola. Let us see the condition and the important point. Remember, for I put normal uh, developmental anomalies, it's discrete white to yellow and 1 to 2 mm papules. Okay, herpetic ginger stomatitis most often seen in leaves, gingiva, oral palate, or tongue. It is a multiple lesion and erosion with an inflammatory erythematous base. 
Complex spot, 1 to 3 mm elevation, maybe white, gray, or bluish in color, and they also have erythematous base, typically seen on the buccal mucosa opposite the molar teeth. Oral candidiasis is a plaque on the buccal mucosa, palate, tongue, or oropharynx. Then, at age of 6 years, a child head is what percentage of its adult size? That's around 90%. Very important point, normal prothrombin time is a spinal remember 11 or plus or minus 2, that is 13 seconds. So it's a 11 to 13 seconds. Let's remember this important finding. So prothrombin time 10 to 13 seconds. Activated plasma thrombin time, that is 25 to 36 seconds. Fibrinogen 130 to 330 milligram per deciliter. Hemoglobin 12 to 15 percent. Hematocrit 36 to 44 percent. WBC 4 to 10,000 per liter and platelet is 1.5 to 4.0 like per liter. Then as we remember types of coagulation test, we go for PD to evaluate the ability to clot. Then there is an INR ratio which is always required between 2.5 to 3.5. It ensures that the result from a PD test are the same from one lab to another. And PDT determines if blood thinning therapy is effective or not. Then in a patient with a leaf or fracture, common finding is what? Common finding is paresthesia or distribution of the infraorbital nerve. Now, what type of secretion sublingual gland gives? It gives mucus secretion. The secretion from a sublingual gland is known as mucus saliva. A viscous secretion contains no enzyme, very important MCQ, and large amount of mucus. Finally, the submandibular gland produces a mixed secretion that is both serous and mucus in nature. So dear aspirant, that was all for today from my side. If anybody want to join test series, they can DM me and any doubt in your preparation, planning, you can message me. Till then aspirant, keep on working and remember the time of the exam is coming near. You may feel little palpitation or tension regarding whether the course is going to over or not. Don't think of that. Go with the flow. Whatever you are studying, try to study it properly and in, you know, in concise manner. For example, if you are going for study one or two subjects, let's focus on them. Don't focus on the remaining 18, 20 subjects. And don't give excessive time to one subject. If you are thinking this subject is taking so much time, switch on to the next subject. But try to focus at least two to three days on per subject. And have a proper concept. If concepts are proper, automatically you are going to remember everything. You are going to remember all MCQ. Fine, the first concept is good. Then automatically you will able to answer all MCQs. Till then, take care and out, let us know.